Hi guys, you are asking me what do I use to render my files? So basically there is a couple of render systems I use to, to do that. Uh, the, my favorite is Fusion 360 which gives you ability to model and to render, to analyze this, to sculpt. Uh, Fusion 360 is based cl a cloud-based modeling tool for designers and you can see it from the link I've put it in the description uh, uh, under the, my movie. And also I've launched um, channel uh, Fusion 360 tutorials for you and you can subscribe and actually follow me. I'm going to do step-by-step -step tutorial how I do it uh, and uh, you're probably going to uh, very quickly learn Fusion 360 from uh, scratch. So let's start. If you have your file ready in uh, Rhino and uh, you finished, uh, you can go straight to Fusion. Uh, I will explain uh, a little bit more about the basics of Fusion in my, on my uh, Fusion channel. Uh, you can subscribe and uh, follow me. I'm gonna be, uh, as I said, publish some more details about the basics and all this stuff. So if you are in Fusion 360, you just need to upload your file. It can be uh, it can be just a Rhino file. You don't need to export anything. You just go and upload because this is data panel uh, because it, this is a cloud system. So you have to upload it on your cloud. You just need to select your file. Uh, and uh, and just upload it. I've already uploaded it earlier. So you just uh, can see what I'm having right now and um, this is um, application bar where you can switch between um, uh, between uh, type of modeling so uh, let's just stick to the render system you've got model system where you can just make the same what you do in Rhino but in a kind of more kind more inventor style or more SOLIDWORKS style so you see on my channel channel uh, but let's stick to uh, to the rendering because this is what uh, actually uh, interests us uh, right now. So uh, if you have your file, uh, your object like this, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be in a rough material, not like that because I've prepared it earlier. But I'll show you how to change material, how to set up the stuff, and all these details. So uh, here you've got a appearance. Um, uh, comment where you can change material if you press on it then an another uh, additional window will pop up and you will see all materials here uh, you can change them and you can actually apply material to to all objects like this and also you can just change the material of surface which is actually very interesting uh, as you can see I've uh, I had a uh, just one uh, bar of green uh, material here and also on the windows I've got just the inside the, the, of the rim here inside shapes of the rim made by green to make some some cool stuff basically now we are in a preview mode so if you want to just start rendering you just need to press here this is kind of in canvas render <coughs> as I told you earlier uh, fusion 360 is a base is a cloud-based system so you can also render in cloud uh, in cloud what does it mean it does mean that if you uh, press render you can save or you can start rendering system online here uh, you are declaring what would you like to do i would like to cloud render so it's gonna be done in a cloud so you can make more renders at one time close your computer go for coffee and when you come back you've got all your renders done yeah or you can do local uh, render using your computer uh, power as you actually want it depends on you and also you can change the quality of of your uh, renders uh, as it is and um, you, you don't need to spend lots of money you just can uh, spend as much as you work uh, at, uh, at the moment so uh, I really recommend because I I think this is the great opportunity for people who 
don't have uh, mm, uh, don't have much money to spend for for software. We, you have also ability to change the environment. For example, if I say I'm gonna uh, use a plaza, so uh, let's just be somewhere in, and you have to basically uh, turn the environment on, and you can actually place your model at some great environment. You can also upload your own HDRI. Uh, file and uh, you can make it at your home or out outside somewhere and uh, and use it and it's gonna be rendered in an environment as this yeah so this is great uh, I usually prefer to do like a, just a, a normal um, photo box with uh, shadows on it okay let's let's just play a little bit more uh, Let's go to materials. Let's just get grab, for example, uh, white material paint, glossy. Let it be blue. Yeah, this is gonna be blue, and this is gonna be blue. I've had my, I've had already some material put it on, so I, I want to remove and start from beginning. All I need to do right now is just basically change this. Uh, this part so let's let's let it be white that's great and I want to have this one black so let's change let's choose the bodies because this is separate body I've made this this is this is the one yeah let's select body and if it's selected then you can apply material to that let's just make it you can make a glass but the, there's risk if there's nothing inside also on the renders there's gonna be nothing inside inside so I prefer to use a black uh, a black um, material in 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 terms of uh, kind of uh, faking that this is some sunproof uh, 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 glass. All right, uh, let's change some color of uh, the wheels. So I will change that one. I'll put some material on onto that, and let's go to the other side and change that. Hang on, I have to select the surface just like like so no it's not selected sometimes it's just a matter of your view set set up okay like this yeah now it's better <coughs> and this EV green uh, will does not fit my design it's white right now okay all right so and also we need to have like a black uh, wheel let's check it out if it's if we had a, a surface prepared for this yeah like so yeah and here There's some problem with this side. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's okay. That's great. Well, and if you want to change the color of, of it, you can just go into settings of your material by double clicking. And then you can just go uh, to, to just to play around a little bit and change what you need. So I like I like this one. It's great. So if you change once you change the color, once you apply material and uh, this material appear appears here, then you can change the color and everything is is changing on your design. Okay, so uh, I'm glad what uh, what it looks like. And I'm going to look I'm going to see how it looks in a render uh, option in a render system. Let's, you have to wait. This is like a live render. It's actually rendering, uh, and also you can change the perspective view as you like. It takes a little bit longer because the processor uh, working, and it's kind of time taking. But and you have here you can see the bar of progress, and where this the, the fusion suggests you that now at this level it's going to be excellent quality so it's pretty uh, pretty what it is 
um, it does look better right now so we might also change uh, make some changes in the environment I'll show you right now so if you go here you've got a you've got a, a couple of presets uh, which are very cool uh, one of them is actually depth of field what I like so uh, as you know from photography depth of field is a is a something very gonna be very, is very close to camera gonna be very sharp and something which is very dark so, so it's very far gonna be gl gonna be glossy yeah. uh, so let's let's check it out I'm happy with the render it's look, it's looking great and I'm now show you what how it looks to be depth of field uh, with, with render so let's let's turn it on now it's uh, not really good because you have to set the point of, of center of, of focus so let's just click on it here maybe on here and now you have to change the the radius of it so let's change for that oh, it's gonna be great uh, let's type 50 here yeah should be okay maybe a little bit less like that gonna be good so if you see yeah you need to let wait a little bit to to see the effect but i see it now right now so the the sharp edge will be here and the radius will will spread spread it and they're gonna be blurry blurry it looks like it's happening right now yeah let's just wait a second Yeah, so basically that's that's how how it works. I will turn it off because it's making uh, the view a, a bit uh, misunderstandable when I'm turning it over. Y one excellent feature it has, the Fi Fusion, is decal. Uh, decal is something what you can, for example, place a logo. So I want to place logo on this surface, and you just need to select the call select the surface you want to put the logo it's going to be logo of, of car automotive uh, company or something like that and select image i've uh, already downloaded some some stuff earlier and then you just need to place it you can actually manage it as you like sometimes it behaves really bad as 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 it happened actually right now i don't like that that's it works perfectly on flat surfaces but not really on the curvy surfaces but you have to work it out and find the best uh, solution for this so uh, let's just put it again as it was um, some logo and I will put here maybe there and then try to turn it up like that and then maybe a bit here yeah that's gonna be good yep it's okay and then it's look it looks much better um, another great feature um, it's uh, environment as I told you you've got a many many environments uh, but you also have uh, many light box which is for example cool light grid light you can play it a little bit more with this so and then you design it can really become realistic so let's try to cool light and try to make try to put in canvas render on yeah it looks great it looks cold and uh, actually very very professional mm. so basically I don't have I don't have much more to say fusion is it's uh, very simple software yeah if you know a little bit of right now uh, uh, you have to switch in a different mode of uh, modeling I will explain anything on my uh, fusion 360 channel um, and uh, it has great simulations great cam uh, abilities uh, 
uh, it has also drawing um, mode when you can make your drawings blueprints or something like this you, you can sculpt by using t-splines mode uh, which is great i like it but uh, it makes some trouble with uh, with soft surfaces but anyway it's great as a conceptual um, base so let's just let's just uh, switch to the channel and you'll see so as you see render is going great it's halfway through the excellent uh, it looks great in my opinion and uh, and basically this is it so if you have your file ready just grab uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 on your computer log in and play as a as an enthusiast you can play as 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 much as you like uh, if you want to make uh, commercial stuff you need to pay but that's that's actually normal and uh, you, I think you understand that so I think this is it uh, enjoy and uh, and good luck so see ya